But Gillingham travelled to Hereford earlier in the season. They beat the Bulls 6-1. Surely it couldn't be another feast of goals at the priest field. Well, fasten your seatbelts for what could be the League Two match of the campaign. Jamie Pittman's side had revenge on the mind, and just four minutes in, they won a penalty. Jack Evans with a trip on Tom Barkhusen. Upstep Rob Purdy to give the relegation threatened Bulls an early lead. Just three minutes later, they double their advantage. Bark Hughesen with his eighth league goal of the season. It was end-to-end -end stuff, and David Cornell was key to preserving the Bulls' two-goal lead with his fine save from Gavin Tomlin. But Gillingham did pull one back before the break. Chris Weltdale, who was on the score sheet at Edgar Street, giving the home side a lifeline. And a minute after the restart, they were level. Danny Kedwell guiding home his second in as many matches. There were numerous chances for both sides before Hereford retook the lead on 70 minutes. Barkhusen bundling home his second of the night. And ten minutes later, the visitors restored a two-goal cushion. Will Evans with a neat header. But Andy Hess and Tyler's men were full of fight and halved the deficit within 60 seconds. Substitute Charlie Lee with only his second league goal of the season. And he didn't have to wait long for his third, firing home to make it four all on 88 minutes. Hereford had a golden chance to seal it when Paolo Gazinga fouled Barkhusen for a second Bulls penalty. But Purdy, who missed from the spot against Gillingham back in September, saw his efforts saved brilliantly by the keeper. And the turnaround was complete when Gavin Tomlin fired home an injury time winner for the Jills and round off one of the most dramatic games of the season. Absolute nightmare, I've got to say. I don't really want to go through that again. Uh, different, obviously, different emotions, but uh, you know, I'm thank, thankful for the win. But uh, lots of lessons to be learned tonight. Um, you know, but one thing I would say is the boys kept going and kept believing. And uh, you know, a lot of teams at four-two, especially at home, with the pressures on. Would have easily crumbled and, and give up, but uh, we kept going, kept believing, and uh, in the end we got a win, which is which is unbelievable.